Hello everyone, this is iSense USA. This video is a quick tutorial of how to use Kerasense in blood glucose monitoring system. If you have purchased the Kerasense in starter kit, uh, you would find a meter and batteries, which I have already included in this meter, uh, two containers of test strips, total 100 test strips. You will find one control solution and 100 count of lancets and a lancing device and other manuals and inserts. So this video, uh, I will show you first how to set up the meter as well as to test your blood glucose and how to use control solution. First, let's get on to how to set Kerasense in for your use. First, press and hold the middle S button for three seconds and then the set will appear from here press this once again now this is a ear part it's on 2023 you can use these two buttons to navigate it is November 17th By the way, to select your choice, you use the uh, S button to select. You have 12 hour system and 24 hour system. I will go ahead to uh, 12 hour system. Our current time is 10.55 AM. Ten fifty-five. Beep basically means uh, this meter will uh, react as a beep sound whenever you press a button or insert a test strip. I will keep it on for now. Delete function is to delete all of your blood glucose level. Uh, we do not recommend this um, as uh, uh, an option because it is better to keep all of your blood glucose level without erasing them, so I'll press no. Now we're back to ear. So to get out of setting, you press and hold the S button for three seconds again, and then your meter is off. Now we will test blood glucose. First, we'll set up our lancets and lancing device. Basically, you turn the cap off from the lancing device. And when I insert the lancet like so, notice this button here turns orange to indicate that it is loaded. Take off the lancet cap. Put the lancet lancing device cap back onto the lancing device. I usually prefer depth three uh, to ensure that it is uh, loaded and ready to go you can simply cock back of the lancing device okay now this is ready now back to the meter you have a test strip here take out a test strip now the test strip the black part should be facing toward you and the pointy part should be also facing toward you. And this part goes into the meter, like so. After three seconds, you will see this symbol, which is ready to receive your blood sample. To draw blood, you simply squeeze your finger a little bit so that you see uh, more red on the tip of your finger. Gently press your lancing device and press this button to prick. Then squeeze out your blood, blood. And then the blood goes to very tip point of the strip, not on the strip, but tip point of the strip. You will see that that little square has turned into red. That's what is called confirmation window. And it simply shows you that the blood has reached all the way up to where it's supposed to be. And then you get your blood glucose level after five seconds. 
to get rid of the test strip, you simply pull out and that's it. Now, next uh, part will be how to use control solution. Control solution is not a calibration tool. It is simply to make sure that your blood glucose uh, test strip and the meter works properly. To give you a brief summary of it is that if you look at your test strip vial, you will see control A and control B, and then you'll see two ranges here. This is control A. So when this meter and test strip measures and shows a result on the meter, if it's within this range, which is 120 to 162, that means your meter and test strips are working properly. In order to measure and use by using control solution, first take out a test strip, same thing, black part facing toward you, pointy part facing toward you, insert the test strip. Now, you have the control solution, just shake a little bit, because the control solution is essentially a uh, sugar water, and if you have it sit in one spot for too long, then the sugar will basically accumulate at the bottom, and then you may have a wrong result. So shake it, put the cap on the table, squeeze a drop, And then simply put the test strip tip onto the control solution and you will see 140 again the range says 120 to 162 140 so it is within the range now to record as control solution you basically have to press this down arrow button for three seconds after the result is shown while the test strip is in. And then you'll see this check mark appeared on the, on the meter. Now that means that this result specifically has been marked as control solution test result and that it doesn't impact your average glucose level. Thank you very much.